Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create this brick design in FreeCAD. Okay, so at first I will I will create in a basic uh, rectangle like this. And I will extrude that one up in this direction to create in the thickness of the, the brick. And from there I will create in one of these fillet in here, a uh, fillet in this corner, and this fillet. And from there, I will focus on the top face of the brick, the top face. And in here, you can see uh, in, our, in this curve and in this curve, I have a flat surface in here and a flat surface in here. And the continuity in here is G1. And we have another surface go up like this and very smooth in here, but very sharp in here. And the curve is starting from the center of this arc and go to the center of this arc. So I will model this using free cut. Okay, so I start. Uh, I will create a new sketch on the top view and we create a center rectangle start from the center go out and then i hit d and set the dimension 50 uh, 80. now i will extrude this one down to 20 so I click on the Z and negative one for the Z axis and 20, click OK. Now I have the main body. Now I will control and select uh, these edges. And create a fillet. I select these two edges and fill that with two. Next, I will separate uh, the top face and the body. So, because I just want to work with uh, the, the top surface, I want to uh, split the top surface into multiple pieces. So I need to separate the top and the body. In order to do that, I go to the drop bench and I hide the grid. And then I select in the fillet and go to downgrade. Uh, now I have a, a single solid. Now I click on downgrade again. Click on downgrade again and I have many faces in here. I select in the top face and I rename this to top face. And then I will hide the top face. Now I will ship select all of these faces and control selecting the top face to deselect it now I click on the upgrade to turn uh, these faces into a cell and rename these to body. Now I have the top face and the body. The next thing I need to do is I will design two arcs. So I will draw one arc on the top view like this, starting from the center of uh, one edge to another. So I have two uh, curves like this. And I have uh, this area one and area two. 
and I will remove the area in the middle. To do that, I go to the Prod Workbench and create a new sketch on the top view. I will reference these four lines. And from there, I will create B spline and we start from here and I put two points in the middle and the last point on this line. Doing the same down here, one, two, three, and four. Now I select this part and the red line and I hit C to snap it. Select this point and the green line and hit C. Now I can adjust the position of these two middle point to get the shape that I want. somewhere around here okay uh, after you okay with this shape you go down here and select this point and this line hit C this point and this line hit C and design this shape down here somewhere in the middle Do not go too far or outside of the reference line because the sketch and the top surface are on the same plane. So I can control select the issue, the top face first, and the sketch later, and go to part split and then slide a part. And I have three pieces in here. I select the middle piece and I hit spy bright to hide it. The next step is I want to find the middle part of this arc and this arc. And in between, I will generate a freehand piece by curve up like this. And from there, I will fill the surface in between and uh, using the G1 continuity between uh, the new surface and the flat surface down here. And on top is the G0 because I don't want uh, any uh, continuity up there. So in order to find the middle part of this arc, I go to the first workbench. And I will use the discrete tie at I select in the curve and discrete tie. So you can see I have a lot of points in uh, on the the line. Selecting this arc and doing the same so that I will have two discrete tie. I select these two and go down to the view and the point size I set it bigger to 10 and go to the data and the number is 3 because you can see two points uh, on the side and uh, the last point on the middle of the curve. Now I need uh, I need another point uh, in the middle of the scene. So I go to the part workbench uh, and create another sketch on the front and create a simple point on the green line and set the distance to a number five, something like this. And I have another part to control the height of the curve. And I will uh, set the point size to 10 also. Now I will rename this sketch to uh, control controller. Now 
now I will create in a uh, free hand splice. So go to the curl workbench and let me select in this part. It's a little bit hard to select. So I need to go to uh, the poise, the poise uh, display. I click on it and I have just poise in here. So I can just select in the middle point and the center point and another the last one the middle one and freehand be supply click on it now i turn the display back to the flat line and i double click on the freehand be supply to exit the edit mode now uh I will hide the controller and the the discrete try edges. The next step is I will um I will join I will uh union these two uh these three together, the body and this surface and then this surface. Control select all of these three and go to the part workbench and union them together. And then if I move my mouse over here, I have a short edge to already to uh, fill the surface. So you can say uh, if I move my mouse over here, uh, I have a long edge. So again, I need a short edge in here. So I need to uh, use the freehand B splice as a tool to slide uh, to compile the object. So click on the object and control click on the freehand B supply and go to part split and then slide to compile. And you can see uh, I just slice them to have these two edges. Then I drop the new slice down and show the display, uh, the, the freehand B supply. Okay, and uh, from there I go to the surface workbench and using the filling tool and Building selecting edges in sequence. Now we set uh, the G1 continuity to all of these uh, edges. So I double click on each edge and I choose the face in G1 for that. But be aware that uh, when you go to the the freehand B supply edge. You skip that because this edge, I don't want any continuity. And also we have no face in this freehand B supply. So I will skip that and continue to these uh, edges. Click OK. Now we just finish one face. Uh, and then I will hide uh, the freehand B splice. I click on the freehand display and it will hide it. And then I can use the edge of this new surface to fill again. So go to the filling and select in in sequence. Okay, and select in each uh, edge and choose the face in G1. And when you go to the surface edge, you can skip that because I don't need any continuity there. So just care about the slice one. Click OK. OK, now we just finish uh, another surface. And you can also changing the height of these two surfaces by go inside the controller and change the length to 15. You can see how the surface is update. So I don't want that much. I just want a small uh, going up. So then easy to control that. So double click on it and go down here to three. Just a little bit. So you can see it's working fine with three. 
now I can go to the uh, first workbench. And then I can select in the slice and control select these two surfaces. Go to the parameter solid. Click on the solid. And then go to the view and deviation down to 0 0.01. Okay. Now we just finished modeling the brick. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.